Another thing which is unhelpful in my thinking and which, which I struggle with a lot, and I've struggled super hard with this leading up to today, is this imposter syndrome rubbish. The fact that I will always doubt how useful I am to people, how interesting or creative I am, how clever I am, how wealthy I am, how poor I am, how, you know, I, I will always think that you think I'm something that I'm not, and I'll always try to be something that I'm not. That's, that's how I roll. Right? And I think a lot of people who create for a living or who present or put themselves out there or whatever, a lot of people go through this, this imposter syndrome thing. Is it, can anyone, I won't ask you for a show of hands, but there's people nodding, right? So if this is you, this is the way that I sort of deal with that thinking. If, if just for really simple things. The first thing is I always try to, I never ever try to be perfect and <laughs> quite often I'm successful. Um, done is better than perfect for me. I don't, I don't sweat about little stuff. I sweat about massive stuff, but I don't try to be perfect. I just try to be valuable. That's not in this relationship so much as just every day. I don't try and be a perfect parent because I've, I've, I'm yet to meet one. Because the problem, the reason you'll never be a perfect parent is because those fucking kids will never be perfect either. <laughs> So when they get their shit together, I'll get mine together and we'll, we'll be fine, right? So I don't try to be perfect, I just try to be valuable. <laughs> How easy is that? Just stop comparing yourself, right? Just, come on, sort, sort it out. Just leave here and never compare yourself to anyone else again. That's rubbish. Of course you're going to do that. You're probably doing it right now, right? So if it's possible, compare yourself to others less, right? I, I, you are, and the problem is you are always going to compare me to somebody else, because that's how, that's how we roll. But, but if I'm doing that, I'm just, I'm just part of the problem. I'm not part of the solution. Right? Stop comparing yourself to other, other people. Stop taking yourself so bloody seriously. This is me talking to me right now. I, 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 I take myself terribly seriously sometimes. And considering what I do for a living and you know, how I live, it's, it's very silly. There's, there's lots of people with actual real shit to deal with who should be taking themselves seriously, not me. I do this, and this, this is going to make me sound like a bit of a needy narcissist, but I keep a nice file on my computer, or on Google Drive, actually, um, which is stuff that people have said about me that's nice. It might be comments on a Facebook page, or uh, feedback after gigs like this, or whatever, and I selfishly keep all those things, and I put them all in a file, and I look at them. I look at them every time I think that imposter syndrome kicks in, and I'm not good enough, or I'm too good, or I'm whatever it might be, and I look at the nice file and, pe and people, and I go, actually, that's real. Somebody really thinks that about me, and it's okay. Sounds terribly narcissistic, right? But it's really humbling, and it's really balancing, really leveling. And the last thing is, you know, if you think, if you're worried about being an imposter, just put yourself out there, because nobody's got a clue what they're doing anyway. You know, like, if, if I'm worried about not being Brené Brown, Brené Brown is the most vulnerable person on earth. So, you know, I, I just, yeah, I think we take ourselves far too seriously and we jump to that conclusion far too often. Okay?